loves welcome back to my channel so as you can see by the title today i will be doing a skincare routine this is my very first voiceover that i have ever did on this channel so y'all please bear with me so right now i am just currently putting on my bonnet and i always like to do this before i start doing anything with my face just so that my hair can you know be out of the way we're good to go with that. I don't know what I'm doing right here. Okay, there we go. Now, this is, of course, my favorite cleanser, CeraVe. V. And I have my cleansing brush right here. I'm just showing y'all the cleansing brush. And two pumps is all you need, hunties. Literally, two pumps. Yes, it was very cold, so that's why I, you know, made a little face. But I wiped some on my face. And then I get my cleansing brush and I start to scrub in. Scrub, scrub, scrub. Some more scrubbing. And y'all, I love this cleansing brush. I feel like it gets deeper like in my pores. And I have talked about it in uh, one of my other videos. I talked about this cleansing brush. And... Pretty much all the products I use in this, I have talked about before on my channel. So, y'all better watch some previous videos. Okay, next is dry my face. Now, I talked about this before. I always make sure I use a paper towel. Any type of paper towel is fine. Make sure you all use a paper towel because it is better for your skin here is my 10 skin um and i talked about this before in a previous video i do not use it all the time i use it when my fungal acne gets a little bad you know and my bumps start forming that's the only time that i use this i don't think it is good to use it every day because it does have alcohol in it so just be aware of that and of course, I grab my cotton balls, or not cotton balls, cotton, whatever you want to call it. And I just dab a little bit on there. And I put it on my skin. Now, when I put it on my skin, I'm only really focusing on my problem areas. So on the sides of my cheeks and on my forehead, that's the only place where I get like dark marks or, um, or acne acne scars or bumps whatever you want to call it that is the only place so i just wipe that down and make sure it is good to go this is a very good thing to do before you put anything else in your face like any moisturizers or anything like that so i love adding this step into my routine and yes i'm doing this because it's pretty strong and if you get it you will understand exactly what i'm talking about it has a very strong scent to it like an alcohol scent so next is this and i talked about this before it is something that i feel like has been helping with my dark marks so this is what i use on of course, like I said, my problem areas, and I only grab a little bit. I do not use a lot of this product. That's just me putting it on my problem, la la, <laughs> my problem areas. And of course, y'all, y'all already know my Sarah B moisturizer i do not leave the house without my moisturizer on my face i love this moisturizer i feel like it just get gets so deep into my pores and i just love how it feels on my skin like it's just the right consistency it's not too thick not too thin it is just right you guys and of course y'all already know i had to get some of my lip balm from my company a beauty one stop period <laughs> i had to you know throw that little period in there but y'all already know shop with me a beauty one stop all of my all of my information is always down below under my videos and I just love to, you know, apply my lip balm after I finish my face routine. It's something that I always do. And I only use my products. So 
y'all go shop with your girl and get some amazing lip care literally take better care of your lips and yeah that pretty much concludes this video i hope you all enjoyed this video this is but once again this is my very first voiceover so i hope you all enjoyed that as well do not forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you all next time bye mm -hmm.